and I need to be where you are. And we can only move diagonally. You know, you, you can jump over, you can so like if you're here, and it's and uh, it's here, then I can jump over. Right? It doesn't matter if I jump over my man or your man. The key is whoever gets to the other side in full is the winner. A pretty little big check. I did we read ten thousand dollars? We're over at Rocket Fuel. There's a uh, Silicon Valley Black Youth Hackathon hackathon happening. We got one of the Street Code Academy kids, uh, three of them actually. They made a little team. They made a little app. They made it to the finals. Let's see uh, how far they go. Oh. Everybody does its warm up. Taylor Swift everywhere. Man. What can I say? So they divided up into teams. We stayed at PSD Labs overnight, um, and they did a preliminary judging. After that judging, they believed they received scores, and they were able to go back to the lab over the week and work with their teams. Now they didn't get any coaching. Uh, they had some mentoring, and I think uh, this is, they had some mentoring at the hackathon. But over the week, for the most part, they were on their own to refine the presentations, to look on YouTube, watch videos, uh, think about hack digits in, prepare, in preparation for today. There's 25 million games on here. Then what happens? There's a simulator. The smiley face appears. You don't need the device. You can do the programming online if you don't have the device. The smiley face appears. Right. And this is a rock, paper, scissors, you shake it, and you can't do it. A few uh, people who had the privilege of sleeping at GSB floors. Um, Marlon had this band has very soft rugs. Um, and I was very uh, happy to see, just inspired really, um, to see the students. And I mean, obviously, all of us who've seen this, seen uh, what we've done. I had a lot of great conversations uh, with Brother Norwood here, who was just, um, I think, giving us a taste of what uh, is going to come in the future. And if there's anything that we could do at Street Code Academy, we're always going to be here. It was a great opportunity for some of our guys. Um, and hopefully we have some gals coming up soon. And uh, just thank you to everybody for this together. And thanks for the opportunity. Youth of color, specifically African American youth, are entering the fray of developing game changing, business changing, and life changing applications to solutions and challenges that we face today. Today is the first of the Chamber's attempt to bring the necessary stakeholder communities. We're a couple of hours in. We had about one, two, four groups present. Some are better than others. Some are stronger speakers. Some didn't have their team members show up. They can't show a demo. They can't. It's uh, stuff out there. And the judges aren't being uh, kind to the kids. They're grilling them, making, they're asking hard questions. But these kids are 16, 17, 18. The fact that they stayed up for 24 hours to try to make something and then worked their asses off for a full week, that's what's important. These kids, all of them, win, lose, or draw, they're going somewhere. I was, I was impressed with public speaking. Uh, you had a great group of teams up here. Some of you may not have done a lot of speaking in front of a group this big, um, but I was just super impressed. And we were hearing comments among the judges about, you know, gosh, I might like to hire that person uh, for, for the summer. So come up and chat. We've got some uh, executives from some companies up here that are pretty interested after what we saw. So thank you. The most important thing is that it's okay to fall for a second and mess up uh, and not give up on yourself. I think one of the most important things to do when, when keeping your, your on track for you know the oncoming years, get it out of your mind. The hardest part is getting it out of your mind. Like if you can just overcome that hurdle and just make the decision to move, like everything else is secondary. So if there's an opportunity or a doorway that's open for you, take it. Even if you don't think you're gonna like it, you never know because I never know. Well, Game Out Tech Tech's the biggest growing industry, as you can see right now. You know, there's so many new things that are being developed, so many new ideas that are being, you know, 
made and right now like you know it's where all the money's at that's what we're looking for a lot of passion a lot of drive a lot of people that are trying to do new things Someone that's saying, I can and I will, not saying, I can't and I want. Because if you surround yourself by people that are saying, I can't and I want, guess what? That negative thought, that negative thinking will influence you and it will gravitate and it will uphold on you. So you will become, you know what? I don't think I can. I ain't, I, you know, I can't do it. I, I, I don't need me trying. But if you surround yourself by positive people saying, I can and I will, no matter what goes on in my life, I'm going to be successful. So again, make sure you dedicate yourself to whatever you want, whether you want to be a lawyer, doctor, an athlete, teacher, we have the vice president of Microsoft, then you can be that. Nothing is off boundaries to get to what you want to be in life. And we recently had our first best president, so that right there lets you know. You can be whatever you want to be. I'm going to leave you with this. Dedicate yourself to what you're trying to do. Surround yourself by positive people. Have positive thinking. Believe in God. Okay. And from there, anything is possible. I'm living proof and witness that anything is possible. Look at that big old track. Wow. Jami won. That's right. You got it. Look at that. Second place for Healthy Hacker. Mason did it. Boys came in second. Got a nice little fat check for a thousand bucks. Here come the grand prize, $2,500. This is $2,500. Not only was it a three-week, I mean a three-month commitment on the planning and development side, but we had young people in the community who were engaged and were getting mobilized around the idea that, hey, guess what? On February 6th, they're going to be handing out some prizes over there at Rocket Field, and we want to be a recipient of that. So what work do we have to do? The upside is that our community is embracing the language of technology and, the, and of design and development, right? We're, we're expanding our vocabulary, and we're making great partners. I mean, Rocket Field, I, I can't thank them enough, enough for hosting, leading, Right, and resourcing us in a way that can make all this possible for these young people. So we came up with Jami because um, the rest of our groups were thinking about, you know, building a game. We wanted to build something that could actually be utilized in real life, something that could actually be used. You know, building a game is cool for one time, but we want to build long term, you know? So we wanted something that was simple, but yet like attract the kids, something they can relate to, something they can identify themselves with. So by creating an avatar that look something like them and that's uh, guiding them to do the right thing as far as like eating healthy and having nutrition and having fitness, that's what made me come up with the idea. We all enjoy fitness and we wanted to touch on an aspect that's not really most common, but something that relates to our generation or close to our generation. And we know obesity is one of the biggest problems amongst children in middle school and high school, uh, pre-diabetes stages. And Taylor gave me the ideal of starting the app and we just started from there collaborating with many ideas. I we came up with the idea because uh, first we had a different idea, but then my friend was like, oh yeah, uh, you know Candy Crush, how it's addicting? We should make a game just like that. I was like, oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. So I thought about it, and I thought, yeah, we should make a game called Vegetable Wars. We fight other vegetables and keep our uh, balance pretty low and make sure kids have fun too and uh, know the importance of um, what they put in their body. It really affects them. But uh, yeah, that's how we came up with the idea. All right, we've wrapped up a uh, long day at the hackathon here in Redwood City. Good old boys at Rocket Fuel. Win, lose, or draw, all these kids, you know, they got some, some big checks. 
Everybody's a winner. It's Super Bowl weekend, for Christ's sake. These kids could be anywhere in the world, partying, drinking, whatever, and yet they're coding, making pitch decks, learning about business, interacting with people in the tech world. These kids are ahead of the curve. Today's event was a step in the direction of speaking to companies, markets, and the, the, just the, uh, the, the population at large that we are something special, that we got something amazing to offer, that within a week, we can build ideas that will have you excited, that we have potential to market ideas, develop ideas, design ideas, present ideas, sell ideas. Like these are all, the t these are all skill sets that people are sleeping on every single day in every single company. It's time for that to stop. It's too long of that. It's, it's, it stems from injustice. It stems from stereotypes. It stems from racism. It stems from ignorance. It stems from selfishness and greed. Like, and we gotta eliminate that because we are, uh, today's event just shows us, man, that we're shortchanging all ourselves, all of us when we do that. So I was, man, I'm happy and excited for today. Not to mention it's the special because Street Code's on the map. You know what I mean? We was representing East Palo Alto, we was representing all up in there. Every award dang near, we was represented in there. Uh, we was the majority in there. Silicon Valley, uh, Black Chamber of Commerce, East Palo Alto was representing, Street Code was representing, stand up, hashtag the movement. Join us, we out. Get real.